I'm happy to be here today to talk to you about two of my favorite subjects, Gazebo News and local online news. I started Gazebo News in 2008 for two reasons. So I thought that the uh, community would benefit from an online town square with news that was professionally reported by journalists as well as um, community announcements, events, photos, and other stories submitted by people that live in the community. I also thought local businesses would benefit from an affordable online platform to share their information with the people that live in Lake Forest and Lake Bluff. In keeping with the town square theme, I named it Gazebo because four of the towns I've lived in have gazebos in their town centers in four different states. At the same time, in the summer of 2008, no one was writing about Lake Forest and Lake Bluff on a daily basis. Today, I think it's safe to say there are more reporters covering our communities than ever before. But at the same time, the news business is vulnerable. First, I want to talk about what sets Gazebo News apart from other online news sources. Why should you read Gazebo News? And more importantly, why should your business sponsor it? So first, a couple of things that make Gazebo News unique. Like many of you here today, Gazebo News is a small business run by local people. My husband and I live in Lake Bluff. We send our kids to the public schools in Lake Bluff and Lake Forest. We go to church in Lake Forest. Everyone who works at Gazebo News, such as Sin McCoskey, my photographer, our web designer, Art Version, our freelance reporters and interns, they all live in Lake Forest and Lake Bluff. Everything that we write is important to us, just as it is important to you, because we live and work here. <coughs> Another thing that sets Gazebo News apart is that we have a really low overhead, and thus are able to offer very reasonably priced sponsorship opportunities to small businesses. We have no printing presses, no newsprint, no drivers, no unions, no corporate management structure, and we have no debt. We're independently owned and operated, and we're very efficiently run, <coughs> and we pass that on to the businesses that support us. <coughs> People often tell me Gazebo News is the first email they open or the first website they visit every morning and that like it's getting an email from a good friend, which is kind of fun. <coughs> Our analytics, analytics put Gazebo News monthly unique visits at between 15,000 and 20,000 <coughs> a month, depending on the news flow, with 80,000 to 100,000 page views a month. The vast majority of our readers live in Lake Forest and Lake Bluff, with Chicago coming in second. It may be surprising that increased exposure for local businesses can have an impact, because a lot of people think that because your business is based here, nobody, everybody already knows about it. <coughs> here are a few testimonials from Gazebo News readers and advertisers that illustrate our reach into the community. This is from an event planner. I just wanted to let you know that we received a huge response for our event from Gazebo News. Gazebo News was referenced more than any other poster, school flyer, thank you, media story, or anything else that was out there. So thank you for your continued support of local events. And based on what we're hearing on our end, Gazebo News is the most read media for local happenings. And here's a testimonial from a nonprofit. Thank you for the story you wrote about our mission. This one makes me really happy. After your article ran, we received an anonymous donation for $10,000 $10, from a local man who hadn't heard about our organization until he read your article. And here's a testimonial from an advertiser. We had a great showing at our sale this week. We definitely will keep advertising on Gazebo News. Keep up the good work. <coughs> so the next thing I wanted to talk about is Gazebo News' new design. We, ran, we redesigned it this past spring in May using a local uh, web design company called Art Version. So let me take a few moments to walk you through this and just show you some of our features. I'll try to be quick about this. So the website is built vertically um, with the most often visited sections on the top, the featureds and the news. But the next most important, or most often visited sections are at the bottom. And the reason that we did that is so that when you want to get to the things that people like, they have to be exposed to all of the ads, <coughs> thus seeing all of the businesses that are sponsoring us. <coughs> um, the ads rotate 
within each other as you cycle through the website. So all of the ads have an opportunity to be at the various sections that people read more often. The news section, <coughs> any type of hard news story that's about crime, taxes, children, <coughs> schools, civic issues, village, city, like forest things, those are either written by me or by one of my interns or a freelance writer that lives in Lake Forest. The rest of the content is submitted by people who live here or work here. And these include everything from anniversary, uh, 70th anniversary of a local couple to found or lost dogs. We've got the farmer's market opening um, to letters from other countries. This is a local mom. I love this story. She worked for a PR firm and she wasn't feeling like it fed her soul, so she took a volunteer job, which eventually led to becoming co-director of a school in Africa where she goes every, for every two months, she's in, her, in Uganda, and every two months she's in Lake Forest with her family. And she sends emails home to her friends. I'm one of her friends, and I said, hey, this is so interesting. Can I share it? And she said, yes, and so I'm sharing it with Gazebo. It's a great way of sharing her story with a wider audience. Um, okay, so it's very easy to submit news to Gazebo News. I'll show you right here. You just click here. Send news, and you fill out this form. You can include a photo. You can include whatever you want to say, long or short. Here's how you post an image. Just click here. Um, and then I get an email saying it's come, and I approve everything that goes up there, so there, everything's vetted. We do get some stuff I wouldn't put in, but for the most part, this has been a um, popular feature. We just added this spring. I will say we try to avoid overly promotional stories that way because that um, uh, doesn't seem to be what readers really gravitate to. So um, these are more for stories that are coming from the community. So people have been using Gazebo News as a platform to share information and opinion about local issues, just as I hoped they would when I started the site. We also have a very active reader forum. These are like letters to the editor. They are written by people within the community and they cover things like any kind of issue. We had a very active uh, discussion going on this spring about Forest Park and Lake Forest, which had um, people from very divergent sets of opinions and they were putting their information and their opinions forth, I thought, in a very sophisticated and civilized way, which is hard to manage on the web because some people take advantage and just spew. But for our forum, they have to include their full name. And anyone who comments on a reader forum has to include their full name. Therefore, we get fewer comments, but we have a better conversation, I feel. On regular news stories, we do allow anonymous comments because that seems to serve a role as well. We, most of, I would say 90% of the comments we get are excellent, and 10% I won't run because they're not. And I have a board, an advisory board, of two retired Tribune reporters um, to advertising executives and community volunteers who help me make some of those tougher decisions. We have a community event calendar, just like uh, Patch and I think the Lake Forester has one too. It's really easy to submit an event. You can just click here. It takes you to a form. And probably the hardest part is figuring out this CAPTCHA code. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can actually have it changed if you don't like it. Um, but it's real easy to submit an event to our calendar. It's widely read. We also have a section called Business Announcements and Real Estate Announcements. This is a section that I started. Um, well, I started this when I first started the website, and I changed it a little bit and added it, um, call it calling it Business Announcements, because I understand the limitations of online. This is a section, let me just tell you, that's designed to um, to work with local businesses to help you get your information out to the audience. It's free to our sponsors, and it, we charge a very reasonable weekly fee for those who no, are not our sponsors. Um, these headlines go out in our daily email, and so they have a really wide uh, immediate reach to our readership. I wanted to ask you, because speaking of our email, we have several thousand people signed up for our daily email, and I wanted to just get a show of hands to see how many of you send out um, postcards in the mail or brochures or any type of advertisement that you 
send to people. Okay. And how many of you use email to send out constant contact with or constant contact or some other kind of thing? And Facebook and Twitter for social media advertising? So everybody's doing advertising. Well, I'm looking for ways to always looking for ways to use your existing advertising and incorporate it into Gazebo News. One of the ways I can do that is I can feed your Twitter feeds onto the website. And that is, doesn't cost either of us anything, and we don't even have to do anything to um, do it. Another thing I'm looking on is putting ads on our daily email, which gives the immediacy of your emails, but it gives you a much wider audience. So that's what I have.